Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. This is I Allegedly. I've got a good one for you today because we're going to cover rental assistance for all 50 states. I've got the latest tools for you, websites, everything that you can use yourself or for your friends, family members, colleagues, whoever may need this. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and again, this one, share with all your friends and colleagues that could benefit from this. Now, uh, one thing that I get a lot of questions on is rental assistance, okay? Commercial, residential, everything. Well, I've compiled the most detailed list of everything, all the different resources. There's $40 billion in unpaid rental assistance right now. And you can use this to get your rent current. You can get some states, it's 12 months, some states, it's 15 months of rental assistance. That being said, you have to ask yourself this question. If the rent moratorium ended tomorrow, what's the goal? Do you like where you live? Do you want to stay there or do you want to move? Because now is the best time to renegotiate everything. Whether you are a in a commercial space or you're in a residential space, the landlord's entitled to his money, but you got to ask the question, you know, what's the goal? What is the end goal? You know, are you just worried about being homeless and you can't move? You know the answer to that question. These rental assistance programs are great. They can get you money quickly. Um, and again, I found a bunch of different tools, but uh, lately the questions that have been asked of me uh, with all these different uh, uh, people that need rental assistance, you know, it, it all comes down to what's the goal at the end of the day? Is it just to live someplace for free? Okay, well, that's coming to an end, guys. It's most likely it's going to come to an end sooner than later. These dates that have been put off, I, I think that they're going to be cut back. This is the National Council for State Housing Agencies. Now, this is an association that can get you rental assistance. Take a look at this amazing tool because this is one of the best out there. Now, this is an amazing tool from the National Council for State Housing Agencies. Again, every state is covered. And uh, it shows you here how much they got allocated, how much they got. Florida got $871 million. And basically, the money was allocated by population. Larger states got more money. Okay, don't say, oh, my state's poor. It only got a little bit. It has nothing to do with that. It's the amount of people that are there. But every state is covered with this. And it's got a link uh, for the agency that you apply to. So again, if you apply to one of these places and you click on it and it's your state or your friend's state, you've got to pick up the phone as well and contact these people to make sure that you're doing all this right and you're going to, um, to get the, you know, the aid that you need. Let's take a look at California first, okay? Look at this. I'm a landlord. I'm a renter. All this information. Let's hit another state right now. Oh, let's do Florida. Okay. Look at all this money for Florida. Based on all these counties. Look at this. Every county. Dan, there's nothing in Florida. I can't find anything in Florida. Yeah, you can. It's right here. Okay. Let's do one of the popular ones that people have asked about. Pinellas. There you go. Where to find help in Pinellas County. And again, contact your landlord, your management company, and let them know you're seeking help. Communication, guys, communication. That's the key to this. All these different Florida resources. This, this is absolutely an amazing tool. Share this with all your friends and colleagues. I'll come back to this in a little bit. That's utterly amazing. Like I said, we'll come back to that in a little bit. But uh, don't forget the CDC form. You've got to get your landlord involved. You've got to have the CDC form. If you make enough money, if you have the means, maybe a spouse is working or whatever, and you guys don't meet the low income threshold, you've got to pay your rent. That's how this works, okay? So here's that form from the CDC that you need to get your landlord involved with. And again, you reach out to your landlord. You tell him you're trying to get rental assistance. If he or she says, no, we're not going to be involved in that. We don't want the problem. I've heard a lot of people say that. 
The beauty of this is that you can still apply for rental assistance, but the money goes to you, okay? So the landlord's a fool for not getting involved, an imbecile, okay? In other words, okay? But he's really stupid not to do this because he could get money direct and now they're gonna write it to you, okay? But let's take a look at that CDC form. Now here's the form from the CDC that tenant should have submitted to their landlord stating that they're in the proper income levels. They make under $99,000 a year as an individual. If they get kicked out, they're gonna be homeless and that this should have been submitted to your landlord. And again, guys, if you have the ability to pay your rent, pay your rent. Landlords are just like any other business. They need this money, and it's not fair to them if you're just doing this to delay the inevitable. Now, one thing I love about doing research is when you find something that's just great that other people don't have and other people haven't shared, okay? And I found something uh, that is a, a Google Doc that is absolutely amazing. It's got not only does it have all 50 states, it's got it broken down by county and their different resources. Uh, it's got all the different rental assistants. Take a look at this because this, this is solid gold. And again, share this with people. There are people that you know that could benefit from this, whether they're a tenant hurting or the landlord hurting. Share this with people. But again, take a look at this one. Now, here's an absolutely amazing tool that's a Google Sheet that's got the entire country in it. The National Low Income Housing Coalition put together this Google Doc that's got every state in it and basically it's got every county that's got resources in it. Take a look at this. The link will be below. Share this with all your friends, family members, anybody that needs this. But just, man, this is absolutely a plethora of resources to get help. And again, when you get these resources and you get these these different counties and these places that have money right now, you've got to pick up the phone. This is just not going to fall in your lap and, oh, we're just going to give you the money and fill out this form and you're never going to have to talk to anybody. You've got to be resourceful. You're going to have to pick up the phone and call these people. Let's take a look at some of these and uh, click on some of these counties and, and see what they've got. But, uh, you know, every state, look, Cook County, Illinois down. There's nothing there. Yeah, there is. Take a look at this. Cook County's got resources. They've got money. All the different languages. Everything that they've got that they can help you with. Absolutely amazing resources. You know, I, I love this research. I love finding things like this because it's just, you know, it, it, this is going to help people. And you can use this, guys. Send this to your friends and family members that are hurting right now. This could really make a big difference in somebody's life. Glendale, Arizona. Clicked on that one. Let's take a look at it. Everything in Glendale, Arizona. All the different, all the different resources. Okay? Just an amazing tool. Please share this with anybody you know that could benefit from it. Friends, family members, colleagues, anybody. Good luck. Now, again, now is the best time to be doing this. It's not a month from now. It's not three weeks from now. It is today. Get this help. Reach out. Get your name on these lists. And again, we all know people that are hurting. Share this with them. Now, the other thing is there are people out there that say, Dan, you don't understand my Landlord's already filed. He told me that it's just a matter of time until it gets me kicked out. Okay. There's a lot of different legal aid and different legal programs. Um, here's a reference for you. And again, you have legal aid in your area. Okay. In every state has this. But some states like California, wacky California, we've got more of this. Take a look at this website that you can use as a reference. Here's another one, lawhelp.org. Now, again, this is probably one of those affiliate referral sites that can get you from place to place, but it covers every state in the union. So regardless of where you live, you can get information to find a lawyer and to get some free legal help if you're concerned about that. Let's take a look at Rhode Island. You're leaving law help to go to Rhode Island. Again, guys, you know, this will get you uh, different legal assistance. And again, ask questions. If they can't help you, who should I ask? The tools are out there for help. Don't forget, 
211.org and findhelp.org. Now, how I came across these last summer was the state of Utah had a program through 211 where they were going to give you $2,000 a month for October, November, and December to pay your rent. And that's what started all the rent moratorium videos and different help that we have on this channel. We're gonna go back to that National Council of Shared Housing Agencies or Authorities. Let's take a look at this site one more time because I wanna go through some of the key states that people say are real problems, but take a look at this. Now, as you go through this list, you, know, you look at states that people say, there's nothing in my state. New Jersey's got nothing. Well, here it is, guys. There's the New Jersey portal, okay? Another state. Let's take a look at, uh, at what's another one? Oh, Nevada. That's another one people have said that there's nothing for Nevada. Well, Nevada's got, you know, that's all the different counties. There you go, guys. You know, take a look at that. So, you know, you've just, New York, another one. There's nothing in New York, Dan. Yeah, there is. But you've got to pick up the phone and call these people and apply. That's the only way that you're going to get this, this aid right now. And another one. Let's, let's look at another state. You know, Virginia, Dan, there's nothing in Virginia. Yeah, there is. Okay? So good luck to you guys. Share this with all your friends and family. I cannot say that enough. You know, don't, you know, be resourceful. Be kind. Share this with people that could benefit from it. There are people out there that are absolutely hurting, and they can benefit from this. Good luck. I hope this was helpful. Please share this with everybody that you know. Uh, these programs, you have to go after. You know, you can go to the website. The best thing to do is go to the website, fill it out, and call them and let them know who you are and that you're interested. Share this with friends. Share this with family members, colleagues, people, because I'm telling you, this money is going to go away. And a month from now, it's not going to be there. And it's going to be too late and you're going to have zero leverage to negotiate with anybody, with anybody. Okay? So don't bury your head in the sand. Be proactive. Go get this do-re-mi and, and, and keep your place to live. Okay? Please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Uh, please join our email list. The link is in below. Uh, if you guys like to follow me and connect with me on Patreon, enjoy. Please do. Love to have you. Um, you get me, a lot more of me, when you do stuff like that, too. Um, all the best to each and every one of you. Please, the email's below. Reach out. I do my best to answer everything I can, okay? Good luck, and remember, be kind to everyone, okay? So many people are hurting right now, and kindness is free, and you, you're, you're rich in kindness, okay? Spread it out. Good luck.